you this house because it's absolutely beautiful. It's boho chic, isn't it, Mia? Definitely. This is our favourite style ever. I can't wait to show it's you around. It's white, so it feels so bright. Right, perfectly filming, <laughs> takes great Instagram pics, and you're yeah. gonna love it, guys. So as you come into this big main room, this is the living area and it's got three sections. There's the lounge area, there's the dining area and there's a the kitchen area which I'm going to take you over to you first. I am really enjoying making all the meals in this kitchen because it's so bright and airy and I can socialise and see all the rest of the family, I can look into the garden. It's amazing guys and what I really love about it as well is all of the wood features. All of the wood comes from the local area and I think local carpenters have designed and made it as well. So we have this really nice beautiful light wood matched with some white and white wood which they've painted on top. So I don't know if the wood is originally white, I think it's painted but it's absolutely gorgeous. Time to put up here. Yeah, we love it. I really like light kitchens. So we have like the sink area, lots of worktop space, chopped fruits and vegetables. We've got our dried lagoons there. You've got to see that in a vegan kitchen, don't you? And then over here we have a big giant fridge freezer and it's got loads of space in there for our fruits and vegetables. And in our freezer, I'm so happy about that as well. Lots of space for mum's ice cream addiction. Well, here in Costa Rica, and we shop. have some amazing vegan, locally made and grown coconut milk ice Ice cream. It's so creamy and rich. It's like mind blowing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you. Mama toucans. And look at that. I feel like it's not actually a toucan. I feel like I it's an imposter. It. Yeah. There we go, look. And then over here we have a big giant island space. And here we have the hob. I was gonna call it the oven. We always get that. We get confused. I, I, like I literally still think of that as an oven. It's a it's hot meal. And behind you, Fizz Fan, is the <laughs> oven. And then we've got loads of space here to put all of our fruit. It's also, all we've got. SpongeBob's house. Yes, of course. We actually have three of the pineapples on our side, but we had a whole one for breakfast this morning. And what's amazing is because we're in Costa Rica, there's loads of locally organic ground fruits and vegetables here, such as this little apple. Yeah. Oh, clever boy. So luckily we've got loads of space for it. And I promise you, we're not hoarding all of this fruit for the hanging monkeys. We do actually eat this all of ourselves as well. And we have the breakfast bar space. And here's some more of that gorgeous wood feature, that nice bright white. And then we've got these really cool boho chic bar stools, aren't they? That's what they call breakfast bar stools. So this is a really nice space to socialize and eat and prepare food. And then here we have a big dining table. And we don't actually eat our dinner up here or our food because we eat our dinner outside. However, me and Sienna like to work on here and do their homeschooling and Mia doesn't have yeah, projects. Yeah, I don't think ever actually eaten at this table. This is no. like the work table. Yeah, and we do arts and crafts on here, which is yeah. amazing. And then we have these gorgeous light features here on the boho sheet. This is like a really nice feature to the room. I, I absolutely love it and it really suits the tropical vibe, beachy vibe of where yeah. we are in Costa Rica. And then over here in this town, we have a really nice lounge area. So we've got this lovely big corner sofa here. And then my favorite part of this area is the coffee table. It looks like a crystal, or we also say it looked like one of the cenotes from Mexico. And this is made out of natural wood. We've got the natural rug here, and then we've got some more of this lovely wood feature in the living room. So this is like um, some covered space. We've got a lovely book collection here, which we're trying to grow. Look at this really cute little pineapple ornament. This is made up driftwood from the beach, I, I believe. It looks like driftwood. It is really, really cool. Adds I to the tropical even, vibe. I haven't even like, noticed that. Like, I haven't properly looked at it, but maybe I should try making one myself. I was, like, like, I was literally like, going to say, like, I bet me is going to copy that. Or like, you could maybe make like, imagine like if you made like a star or something. Wait, I did Copy it that. Yeah, this is the that. baby's little toy area. They've, they've <laughs> kept some of their toys in here because they like to play here in the daytime. It's a nice bit of play space here. And then over there, Sienna is modeling with some more accessories, which are absolutely beautiful. Like, they've got the beautiful yarn, lanterns, and then, yeah. and then they've got the blue paper. It looks so nice. It's really nice. I feel like the living room's sort of like cream and blue and white, really fresh and beachy. Then I think I'll show you one more room before somebody else takes over. <laughs> and over here, we have my secret room. This is where I go to get a minute's pizza and I'm not even joking. This is our pantry space. We've got loads of food here. It's a bit cramped in here. It's like our laundry utility room, 
kind of boring, not the nut butters, but it's kind of a boring bit of space, but it's really handy to have that because we can store loads of things in there because we actually do have a lot of things to store. So obviously, as you can tell by how much mum waffled on about the utility room, that is her favorite room in the house because that's where they store the food. But anyways, now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite room in the house and that is through here. white and bright I feel like it feels really clean and like spacious but it's still not like so massive like it feels like cozy at the same time like still well it feels like spacious anyways I have this really beautiful painting and I absolutely love the color of this because I feel like the rest of the room is really like very neutral very bright so this adds a little bit of color yeah you drive this cement truck in my room and then I have some wardrobes I have this nice little vase which adds another little pop of blue and over here is where I like to keep some of my crystals and I um, really like that I have so much space to store my things in here because look I have all of this space and then I also have this side of my wardrobe to store my clothes so I like having lots of space to store my things I think that's everything in my room guys and I've got to say me you've done a great job are keeping this room tidy. Yeah, I actually have, because normally, um, sometimes I can be a little bit messy, um, but yeah, I have been keeping on top of it. I think it helps that I've got all of those shelves. Anyways, I'm gonna show you over here. You just come a little bit, come a little bit. And there's actually another door in here is my bell. Oh my goodness, Miss Fam, I need to tell you about what happened the other day. So we came back from the beach. We'd open up the doors and stuff. So obviously I'm gonna assume that they came in after like maybe through those big doors in the living room or something like that. But there were two birds in here and we've actually seen these birds before flying around in our garden. So one was in this bathroom and the other one was in my bedroom. So I opened up my big doors and the one that was in my bedroom flew out pretty much straight away, but the one in the bathroom like took a while, but eventually we managed to like sort of scare it out of the bathroom so then it flew out the window. But yeah, I just want to tell you that story. I don't think we recorded it, did we? No. No. Um, oh. And luckily I remembered to quickly turn off the living room fan. Yeah, so that was it through, through the living room. Imagine if that happened. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my bathroom. I've got a toilet, I've got a shower. I guess it's not a bathroom then, it's a shower room. I always call like, even if it's just as a toilet and not even like a shower or anything, I still call it a bathroom for some reason. And then over here I have my storage space. I've got some drawers, I've got my toothpaste, my toothbrush. I also got this mirror, which I really like. Cause look, it's like an LED light, which I really like. I feel like the reason you call it a bathroom is because we're from the UK and bathrooms are really popular, but in the Americas they tend to just have showers. Yeah. They don't actually have a bathtub. So I feel, yeah. I feel like we're conditioned that a bathroom has a bath. Mum, can I have the honours to show in this one? As well? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah. So come through this door through here. Well, this one's quite close to my bedroom. Um, we actually have a spare bedroom and I just noticed this painting. Look how pretty this is because it's like purple and blue. Anyways, yeah, so this bedroom is a spare bedroom and it actually has two beds, which is pretty cool. And then it has these nice windows which you can open up and go outside. Okay, someone's doing the lawnmower or something or building or something out there. It's really noisy. <laughs> and then this bedroom also comes with an ensuite. You want to have a little peek? This one's just the same as my bathroom, actually. <laughs> I didn't even realize that, but it literally is like identical. <laughs> and here is my room, all the way down the hallway. And I'm going to share it with little Karma. So in here, so you walk through and there is my bathroom where I've got Nice shower space, toilet, common potty, and then sink. So, usual things in the bathroom. Hang on a minute, guys. How is anyone not pointing out the really cool light features in all of the bathrooms? In every bathroom, we have these gorgeous lights which are all over the house, but they're all different styles. Here, I have got this lovely mirror to see if I look nice, and then also it's got the lovely driftwood framing, which is really cool. And then I've got a desk area. I actually took one of the breakfast bar um, chairs and I added it to this bit so it could be a desk. And then I've got some books about Costa Rica, my angel and a little turtle. Two beds in here, one for me, one for Karma, and then some books and stuff. And more of the beautiful lights. I really love them. There's a smaller mirror, but there's also this gigantic mirror, which is part of my wardrobe area, my staff and my wardrobe. And then there's the same in every room, a beautiful gigantic door that has a path that, le that leads into the garden, which we're gonna show you in a minute. I have 
That's what I'm hoping. Okay, guys, let's take you through to the rest of the house. So this is going to be the main bedroom, which Georgie and I share with little Coco, don't we? So welcome to the main bedroom. This is a lovely, huge, spacious room. We've got the glass on both sides. We get this amazing view of the howler monkeys who wake us up in the morning. What time do the howler monkeys wake us up, Colour? It's like 5 a.m., isn't it? So we've got the beautiful bed here, absolutely huge. It's wider than I am tall, so it's really handy because obviously, as you guys know from our previous 17,000 house tour videos that we've done, I have to basically hang off the edge like this all night while covers just sideways, kicking his feet into my back, and then you have to breastfeed all night. Yeah, I'm the all night di diner, aren't I? You are, you're the all night milkshake diner. And then also in here, we have a walk-in wardrobe. So we've got all of our stuff. It's really handy, actually. I quite like walk-in wardrobes now. I didn't really understand them before, but now I get it. It's just like really convenient to be able to grab all your different things. So we've got our cases there, which um, obviously we brought all of our things in. Got some hats and shoes and all of our clothes. And then we've got the baby things all in here. So it helps keep us organized and be in a good flow of what we're doing. We can see what needs washing, what doesn't, etc. Got the baby bed here, wishful thinking, maybe, maybe you might sleep in the bed on your own at some point, might you cover? But we don't want to rush you, it's when you're ready, isn't it? When you're ready, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, don't worry, we'll be impatient. And then, obviously, all of the features which George has been mentioning everywhere. Oh, by the way, actually, something which is pretty cool as well, because this is like part of our morning routine, is we have to press that button in the morning, but look, if I press it now, Remote control, blinds, it's pretty cool. So we can just do that in the morning, lovely little start to the day, and we get to see all the nature again, open the doors. Moving on to the ensuite thing here, we have the double sink. So there's no like jostling, oh, I'm trying to brush my teeth, get out of the way. So we actually have a sinkage. I'm sure we just use the same sink anyway, don't we? I do you swap. use this one? Do you ever use that one? I, I swap. Oh, right. Okay. So I, I change my mind. swap for some reason, but I feel like we generally just use the same sink all the time. Um, yeah, lovely, just it continues the theme of everything what's going on in here. It's, there's like a lovely thing which ties it all in together because it's um, a local carpenter which did the whole lot. And then obviously we've got the standing, you know, the toilet, etc. Loads of space in here. Got the waterproof toys for the babies to play with. And then over here is the shower. By the way, guys, funny story about the shower is actually on night number two of being here, there was a scorpion down there, so I had to deal with that. But thankfully, because we stayed in the jungle in Mexico already, I am a certified scorpion trainer, so I actually know how to deal with them now. So we've got this lovely shower, and then if you think that one shower is not enough, and you're like, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like a bit, a bit Georgie style, I just want to be naked outdoors. <laughs> you can! Welcome to Georgie's favourite shower, although it's still enclosed. But look, so we're actually sunbathing while we're showering right now, but when you come out in the evening, because it gets dark about half six, so when you have your evening shower, because we're not, there's no light pollution around here, so you're showering and you are actually covered with the stars and the moon. We'll have to show you at night time one day, but it's, Honestly, what a luxury, what an amazing, just, this is so beautiful getting to be here and shower outside, but like in privacy at the same time. So yeah, amazing. I do feel like we have to show you guys what this place looks like lit up at night time with all the light features and all of the beautiful like coziness of the house. Because it's all tropical yeah. and bright in the daytime, but at night time, it's got a really, really cozy feel as well. Outside. Yeah, should we show the fist fam outside? Yeah. Come on then. Okay, you lead the way. It's a big heavy door, isn't it? It's actually a really cool door because it opens up in this really cool way. Like, you can decide which way to It's like the things in toy shops where there's like the mouth of a shark and then there's a small one for the kids and a big one for the adults. So your imagination is just really fantastic. So let's put our shoes on first. Guys, do you like how they're all in size order. Kara's already got hers on though. <laughs> I went to Kara Cam Walk, which is going to be pretty soon. We need to get you some as well for this yeah. beach light. Pura Vida. Let's put these on because it is very hot outside and the stones can burn your feet. And at the front of the house, I really like this feature because it's coming so handy when we've come back from the beach. But there is an outdoor shower. So you can wash your feet there. You can wash all the sand off. It's amazing because then people don't bring all sand into the house. And this obviously is put here because people People go to the beach a lot here and I feel like we have been inspired by everyone around here because everybody goes 
to the beach every day to surf. Everybody goes there to watch the sunset and we have been making our daily ritual as well. Not the surfing yet, but going to the beach and watching the sunset. Me and Sienna have been really wanting to I get surfing lessons. Just so, so like, I Sienna. went to do it. It's so funny because I feel like did it start because of when we started yeah. skating. She was like, I really, really want to surf. And then we moved here and it's literally like the perfect place to learn to surf. Like, Everyone here starts like Are you manifested everyone. that, Sienna? You I know. Really did. Yeah. Oh, did you get a flower, Karma? Does, does it tickle? Yeah. Are you tickling the fish, fam? <laughs> well done, you tickled them. Now you're in the front garden, but you can walk down this little path to get to the back. It's really cool. So you're walking down the side of the house. And here we are! The front garden. It's the back garden. Wait, what? Oh, it's sorry. the back garden. <laughs> The garden goes in like strips where this bit is the grass bit and then this bit the pool which is like the middle bit and then there's some rock bits and then there's like the plant and mud bit. Yeah there's so much space out here we keep finding new little areas the more that we explore and another thing we definitely need to show you this at night time as well because it's just a completely different vibe at night time again speaking about those stars from earlier me and Georgie after we've got the babies down to sleep we'll come and lay on these sun lounges at night and then we can just look yeah. up at the stars. Our kombuchas. Yeah, have, have, a, have a little kombucha. It literally feels like the whole family, we are living the Pura Vida lifestyle already. And we're just, we're in nature, we're just loving life, all this gorgeous sunshine just makes me feel grateful for everything in life. I'm really glad that we get to share this journey with you as well, guys, and hopefully we can inspire some of you to get in touch with nature more, live life a little bit more in the way that you want to live it, and just enjoy the simple things as well, like spending some time underneath a tree in the garden with your family. So for the different parts of the garden, over here we have the infinity pool. We've actually only been in this once so far. We tend to avoid pools a bit just because of the chlorine, but at the same time we want to go in there because we really want to be able to teach Kerr and Karma how to swim. Maybe not cover so much immediately, but you want to learn how to swim, don't you, Karms? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to practice a little bit, yeah? Yeah, I'm from here. Yeah, we've been in once so far, haven't we? I'm from here. We do yeah. go into the sea nearly every day, though. I think that's a nice place for them to play in the water, but obviously, it's too poor, we're going to have to get Karma to have some lessons, aren't we? Hope you guys can actually hear us because it is super windy today. It's really, really windy. So then over here, we have the outdoor dining area. This is where we eat every single dinner. It's amazing. And then also we don't actually get too hot because we have the fans here. Because temperature wise, it gets to about 33, I think, isn't it? 33 Celsius in the daytimes. And then over here, we've got a barbecue and an outdoor sink area. So that's really handy to wash the babies in, like if they get messy outside or that type of thing. We even have an outdoor fridge, which I've just had a fantastic idea. We need to fill this up with our kombuchas and they're outside for us. That's a plan. We also need to schedule in like a barbecue day, like on a weekend, that would be so nice oh. if we just spent the whole day like out on the like deck. Like potatoes, grilled um, pineapple. Yeah! Oh my so goodness. Good. And then we could even get those like sticks where you put like pepper. Kebabs. Yeah, like a kebab kebabs. but with like vegetables. Kebab or kebab this fam? What do you say? Kebab. Oh. Kebab. And then also talking about nighttime, this beautiful tree here, there's these light lanterns hanging off and at night time we turn those on and it is really really beautiful at night time. In actual fact the two birds which were in Mia's bathroom, I don't know if you're going to be able to see guys, but see these hanging lights? This one actually has a bird's nest inside it. I'll hold the camera up and see if you can see. So there's no chicks in it at the moment, but we have seen the two birds going in and out, taking little bits in there, making the nest. So they're obviously getting prepared. And then over here, we are actually surrounded by cow fields. So there's cows actually come up to the edges. We've got this, all of this huge, area yeah, so we're in this really nice rural space which is really nice as well so it's very peaceful here and something me and Darren realized the other day was because there's cow fields surrounding us it really reminded us of the house we stayed in Portugal yeah because the house in Portugal actually had cow fields next to it as well but do you know what we keep saying what's so funny this house is like if the previous houses we've stayed in ha had a baby this is like the result isn't it I know there's crazy. a little bit of all yeah. of them in it it's like all the best parts of all of it yeah because we really like that about the Portugal house that had the cow fields because it's really nice to have that countryside feel and it's really peaceful yeah. but yeah this house there's got lots of features in it that we really really like because we're as we stay in different places what we're trying to do is compile a list of all our favorite features so then when we build or buy our dream forever home then we know how we want it to yeah, be yeah. I know it's hard to it's a long list so far. I know it's hard to find the perfect house because nowhere or no, nothing, nothing's perfect no nothing's perfect yeah. 
but it's really nice that we can like have the we know what we like now don't we from staying in different houses we know what we like about certain countries and what we don't like about certain countries and i feel like we're starting to get a grip that's why this one ticks so many boxes yeah yeah so costa rica is definitely on our top like five oh, of countries top, top of where we'd like to settle long term because yeah. we have lived in some countries for a while but they're not exactly been our favorite one we've just kind of found them quite convenient at that time but this place it is yeah it's like a dream isn't it already yeah. so like i said in the previous video we're going to go with the flow pura vida and you never know if it's found this could be our forever home thanks for coming to look around our house for this time we've got some super exciting videos planned see you in the next one Bye. Bye.